Welcome everybody. So everyone has its own reasons. Maybe you are doing something very confidential and you don't want your data to be exposed. Or maybe you found out that at your workplace, ChatGPT has been blocked and you can't live without it. Or the last reason, maybe you are just a curious mind and you would like to know how good open software is right now, what it is capable of. In all these cases, I got you covered. Today, I will discuss two methods of installing large language models on your laptop. Still don't get it? Let me tell you in a different way. At the end of this video, you are going to have a ChatGPT clone right on your laptop, ready to use. Let me show you two incredible programs, GPT for All and LM Studio. And I will guide you through the complete process of installation, so don't worry, this is beginner-friendly methods, and I will help you with that. So without further ado, let's get started. Here is GPT for All website. As you can see, a free to use locally running privacy where a chatbot, no GPU or internet uh, required. And the best part is whether you are using Windows, Mac or Ubuntu, you will find the installer right here on the front page. Uh, they made it really convenient no matter what system you are uh, on. A bit more about the GPT for All's capabilities. Uh, it's pretty similar to your ChatGPT. So you got answered a question about the words, personal writing assistant, understand documents, write a code and a bit more about installation instructions, but uh, it is a really straightforward installation process that just a couple of uh, next, 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 and uh, here you have a working uh, instance. Right after the installation process, when you start GPT for all for the very first uh, time, you are gonna be presented with uh, available models. There are a lot of them, which I would like you to pay attention to is uh, to check the license, because not LLM models are, for example, licensed for commercial uh, use. And the second thing, just check hardware requirements. Uh, if your laptop is good enough and has enough RAM to run a specific model. For the purpose of this demo, I chose uh, two LLM models. One is uh, Mistral Instruct, and the second one is a very famous one from Microsoft, Orca 2. I chose medium size uh, model. So let's see how they're gonna fly. Mistral Instruct is already loaded. I will put a Example prompt uh, here. What if cats could talk? What would they say about their day? Let's see what Mistral will answer. If cats could talk, they might say something like this. Well, I woke up late today <laughs> and so on. Yeah, it's kind of really nice and uh, good answer, I would say. Let's switch to Orca to medium and see what's going to be the answer there with the same prompt. Orca was also very fast, but the answer is much shorter, I must admit but still quite good. And uh, there you have it with GPT-4 all. It's quick, especially on a MacBook M1. Swapping between models is just like changing channels on TV. Really easy. Alarm Studio, the second tool, gives you much more flexibility in terms of tweaking a small options, but still the user interface is not complicated. So let me show you. So here is Alarm Studio website, alarmstudio.ai, available for a different operating systems. Uh, as you can see for Mac, Windows and Linux, the same we had with GPT-4. Uh, some short info that with Alarm Studio, you can run LMs on your laptop and use uh, models from uh, Hugging Face repositories. What I would like to point out uh, here is the one question, can I use Alarm Studio at work? Uh, so they claim that business use will be possible and it's planned, but I think it's not ready now. So it's just for the local test, you're gonna be fine, but uh, I think it's not possible now to use it for the commercial purposes. I am proceeding with the download, of course, for the Mac M1, since it is my machine. Uh, here you can see the progress, so let's wait until it's finished. Here we have Alarm Studio running. I deliberately skipped showing the installation process because you might be using a different system. And besides, the process is pretty straightforward. This way you can easily follow the steps that are specific to your own setup. Atom Studio gives you this very friendly and easy to use interface. On the front page, you get all the models which are available to download. It's just as simple as clicking the download button. Usually you have the choice of two files, a smaller file and a bigger file. Bigger file comes with the better quality. That is why I've chosen V2 model with the bigger file. It is a very popular model from Microsoft right now. Its uh, hardware requirements are small. That's why I decided to use this one. And the second one, I've chosen Open Hermes 2.5 Mistral 7B also with the bigger file. So let's see how they compare with each other. Let's quickly jump to the chatbot. I already have those two models downloaded here. Chat is clicked. So here I click my prompt. 
Okay, let's see how fast is V2 model. It is very fast. Amazingly, I get immediately answer. It's not too long, but I think it's okay. Now the second model, open Hermes, accept new system prompt. It takes a bit more time to load, but it's ready. Okay, same prompt. And let's see the answer. It's taking a bit more time as the model is much larger. But here we have, wow, well, the long comprehensive <laughs> answer. In summary, V2 responded quickly and efficiently on my hardware, making it a great choice for a speedy interaction. On the other hand, Open Hermes took a bit longer, but its responses were more comprehensive and detailed. Now that you have seen what these models can do, I encourage you to experiment with them on your own. Remember that with LMS Studio and GPT for all, you've got the right tools at your fingertips. Dive in, try different models and see which one works the best for your needs. So we reached the end of this video and hopefully until now you got your own private personal chatbot running on your laptop or personal computer. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments what would you like to see in the future. Thank you and bye!